Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. All right, this is a live stream on Twitch for everyone that uh, is uh, joining. Let me know what are your thoughts. Is this breakout legit or not? Uh, we're going to analyze a bit this uh, breakout that we are seeing right now. And um, after uh, this morning's video, this is an update from this morning's video. It was a bit a more bearish video to show you what could be the worst case scenario if here we're going to get heavily rejected at $57,000 or latest here at 61 k so this is a little update video because uh, we were expecting here another attempt to fight this $57,000 resistance. And this is exactly what we are seeing right now. So we're going to have a look into that. And uh, yeah, this is now a live stream on uh, Twitch. So let me double check that I'm um, recording. I have to check the chat here uh, with OBS because I haven't a second screen here. All right, um, I think everything is okay. The stream should be running, yeah. All right, uh, Bitcoin is now pushing higher. We are seeing here a nice four hour candle that is uh, pushing towards our target here of $57,000. And I think all the volume is not bad. Uh, it's uh, rising, so that is a good sign. And um, yeah, of course, like I told you in the, in the video in this morning, uh, we are not out of the woods yet. We want to see four hour closes and even better daily closes, at least above $57,000, even better above $61,000 in order to be out of the woods and potentially head higher towards new all time highs. Uh, we still have several warning signs, but the lower time frames currently are starting to look uh, way more uh, bullish than they were previously. So after this uh, morning's uh, breakout here from the EMA ribbon, you can see that right now we are the first time now trading again above the 20 moving average in the four hour time frame. So we want to see a four hour close, of course, above uh, $55,000 or even better here above this previous uh, support trend line, which here acted as a resistance. And right now we are trying again to break higher. Although if we go over into the one hour time frame, you can see that here we already had two closes above this new support. Now that in theory we have in the one hour time frame here at around fifty five thousand eight hundred seventy dollars. So the one hour is looking good that we should go here at least to test again this fifty seven thousand four hundred dollars. And if we go now over into the four hour, you can see that the 200 moving average is right upon of us. So it's right here at $57,000. So if today we are able to close four hour and daily candles above $57,000, that in my opinion could be a very bullish sign that we are about to head higher without any further correction, uh, maybe even sub 50K. And we are heading towards uh, new all time highs. And uh, therefore, we're also going to have a look here into the daily time frame, because right now you can see that we are fighting here with the 20 daily moving average right here at around $56,500. So today we want to see a daily close above this important 20 daily moving average. Otherwise, uh, this attempt here to push higher could be failing. So let's see if today we are able uh, to close above the 20 daily moving average and in the next coming days uh, that we are also confirming this as a new support. So after this buy signal that we got here in the daily time frame, so far we are good to head towards our first target here of $57,000 and then potentially also go to test here $61,000. So we are about to potentially go towards uh, those levels. And as I told you also, when we were down here, uh, it's going to be very important that we're going to go above the, the Fibonacci retracement here of uh, the 0.786 line. So above $61,000 in order to not create here a lower high in the daily time frame. We want to see follow through here to the upside. Uh, once we are above $61,000, I think we're going to see some uh, uh, pushes here towards $65,000, potentially also go higher. But 
even it would be enough if uh, already we would stay here between 61 and 65 thousand dollars for a while consolidate here and then push higher that would be already enough but what we don't want to see is that if the price is reaching it $61,000 that here we would get heavily rejected and then maybe even lose here again the support here of around $57,500. So what we're seeing right now is a nice push towards those levels. Once we are reaching them, then we're going to have to see if we are out of the woods from uh, um, this uh, dump that we have seen or if here maybe we're going to create a lower high and continue our um, dump here below $50,000. So everything is looking extremely good for now. Also, if today we can close above the 20 daily moving average, we would also bring here the RSI above the 50 level. And this is what we want to see in order to have follow through to the upside. So this breakout is good. And we are approaching now our first potential resistance level here of $57,000. So let's see what happens. I still have my long opened here, but I definitely gonna put a stop loss if we're gonna have some problems here to push higher than $58,670. So if today we are not able to close above the 20 daily moving average, then in my opinion, uh, there are some warning signs and I would be a bit more cautious here in um, keeping up my long position. But um, yeah, what we want to see is daily closes above uh, 57k. That is the minimum that we need right now in order to head higher. Otherwise, uh, as I told you, my friends, this could be a potential lower high. But this push now is very bullish. And uh, let's see how we're going to close also this uh, monthly candle, because if we are able to bring the price back above $60,000. So if we're going to close this monthly candle above the previous uh, uh, open uh, close here at uh, $58,800, then in my opinion, this sell signal here is denied and would also disappear here in my own indicator. And that's why then we could expect here follow through to the upside. But as long as we would close the monthly candle below 60K and the sell signal uh, would be still flashing here, then I think we still have um, a big warning sign here in the monthly time frame. Yeah, so anything else? I think no. Watch out for the daily close, my friends. If we can close above 57K, this will be very bullish. We should then expect continuation towards 61,000. And then we're going to see if we are able to push higher or not. Otherwise, if here today we are not even able today to close above the 20 daily moving average, things could start to look uh, a bit bearish here. That would potentially confirm a lower high. But if here we are able to push higher and start close daily candles above $57,000, I think this breakout is legit. And since also the nine daily moving average is now turning back into green, we have very good chances here for a nice reversal to the upside. And we should not expect then continuation to the downside. But um, for now, we are not out of the woods yet, but this push now is very bullish. So let's wait and see where we're going to close the next couple of four hour candles if we are able to start trading above the 200 moving average in the four hour time frames then i think uh, we have very good chances to close uh, this daily candle above the 20 daily moving average and that could signal that uh, we will head towards higher levels but uh, another warning is if here we are getting heavily rejected at sixty one thousand dollars that could be a warning sign um so watch out for the next couple of four hour and daily closes, my friends. Of course, I'm going to update you always over on uh, YouTube and also here um, on Twitch when I go live. So if you are watching right now from Twitch, make sure that you subscribe also to my YouTube channel, to my main channel, Alessandro the Crypto. I do daily TA videos and also you find all my referral links down below here, also to my other channels. Uh, so check them out um yeah let me quickly check the chat here um roger gallard 201 welcome to the live stream if i have an app to buy bitcoin they will charge me money uh depend it depends what kind of app uh, that you use um uh, usually the exchanges always uh, takes a small commissions when you're buying uh, cryptos so depending on your exchange the fees are higher or lower um 
I think if you go through uh, through Binance, uh, usually I always go through Binance um, when I buy cryptos with stable coins. I think with Binance you get the cheapest uh, fees, and uh, with the fiat I usually use. Um, uh, let me check uh, Coinbase. Uh, here the fees are a bit uh, higher maybe than other exchanges, but uh, to purchase cryptos with fiat for me Coinbase is the e easiest way. And another good exchange is, um, of course, also Swissborg. Um, they have also very low fees. So those two are the ones that I'm using with fiat. And um, when I buy with stable coins, usually I use crypto.com because here I also have a free debit card. So you can directly spend your cryptos and stable coins here. And of course, Binance. Binance is always the number one exchange. Uh, and in my opinion, also have uh, one of the lowest fees so if you want to get an account there you feel free to use my referral links in the description um, you're welcome my friend and um, yeah those are the ones that i use and i recommend so yeah if you still have no cryptos then hurry up my friends because um, the train is about to leave if here we are able to push higher, if we are going above $61,000 and we'll start to close daily candles above 61 k I think we should be out of the woods and then we can continue our parabolic pushes towards new all-time highs. There is still a high chance that Ethereum could be still a leading indicator. And since Ethereum is still creating new all-time highs, and also here, as you can see, we came first here to the 0.786 Fibonacci retracement from this dump that we had. Uh, you can see that Ethereum first struggled a bit around here to push higher. But at the end, once we were able to break through this important Fibonacci retracement that also Bitcoin needs to break right now, then we had explosive moves to the upside and created new all-time highs. And the same thing we want to see now also for Bitcoin. That's why Bitcoin needs to go above here the 0.786 Fibonacci retracement here of $61,000. And once we are starting to consolidate here, then in my opinion, the chances are very high that we could see follow through to the upside. And my next potential resistance point, if we're going to see new all time highs, would be this previous resistance trend line currently at around $72,000. And if you would push higher, then I'm sure that we're going to see a nice blue sky breakout towards uh, 100K because um, if the dump is over yet, then I think we have very good chances in reaching uh, 100K, maybe even during the month of uh, uh, May. So everything is starting to look extremely bullish, my friends. But as I told you, there are still warning signs. We are not out, not out of the woods yet, but the chances are very good with this uh, attempt here that we could finally get out of this uh, bearish structure down here and the chance in creating a lower high in the daily time frame is getting uh, lower and lower. So hopefully we can close today above the uh, 20 daily moving average. Uh, that would be extremely bullish. Yeah, otherwise, make sure that you're subscribed here on Twitch and also over on YouTube to my channel. I do daily TA videos, so I'm going to update you um, if we were able to close uh, the, uh, the daily candle above the 20 daily moving average latest today, I'm going to update you what is going to happen here next. And if you're interested in uh, um, trading bots uh, or also do arbitrage, then definitely check out um, Bitsgap. This is the number one platform uh, if you want uh, to use trading bots on your exchanges and um, they are offering to our community the pro plan for 14 days completely for free. So try it out, my friends. So far, for me, it's completely paying out. And uh, yeah, 14 days is for free. Afterwards, uh, you can upgrade to the monthly plan, which is starting only um, for four, uh, $19 a month, I think. So extremely uh, cheap. All right. I think that's it for this update, my friends. Thank you again very much for watching and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye